In this video we are going to look at the BGS web map services that you can view using Groundhog. If we open the map window and select the base map first of all, here is a list of all the currently available web services. I'm going to just select um, three for now. One is the Bedrock 50k and one is Superficial and also the Borehole data. So we'll click OK to that. Now we want to go to a particular area and so um, I'm going to just zoom into the Ruddington area by right clicking and selecting find a place and choosing Ruddington. This will actually zoom us in at a, um, a scale of greater than 1 to 50k so I'm actually going to just zoom out a little bit because the um, 1 to 50k maps appear at that zoom level so we're going to just zoom out to that level okay now we're going to actually look at the boreholes here so you can see the geology the bedrock and the superficial geology but we're going to examine examine a, a borehole so we click on the borehole layer to make it active and then when we click on an individual borehole which is this little green dot here it will give us information about that borehole so on the right will appear some information, um, the borehole ID and where it is and um, who produced it. And if we click on this little icon here, we can view the scan, the BGS scan, if there is one. So this gives us a direct link to any scan that is available. So we can find out more information about the borehole. The final web service I'm going to show you today is the AGS service. So we need to add that as a layer. Now this will show us any AGS data that BGS has got stored. Now we need to get rid of some of this other information in order to find this. So you'll see it's, it's appeared as a layer here and we are going to just hide some of the other information. We're going to also make um, the AGS layer more visible, decrease the transparency. Now the AGS data appears as little blue dots on the map, so we're going to home in on one. We need to have this, active, this layer active to do this. Click on that and you can see information about that borehole. We now click the download button and click no to that message there. You'll see that it has now downloaded this AGS data. And if we look in a tree, we can see what it's downloaded. You can then use this borehole data for your um, other activities in Groundhog.